Hi, I'm Drew, um, and I built a 40 terabyte Hackintosh server. Um, what is a Hackintosh I'll start with? A Hackintosh is when you take off-the-shelf computer parts and you put the macOS operating system on there. Um, why did I build this? Um, at the time, I needed a place to store my movies that I was collecting, and I had a whole bunch of iTunes movies I purchased over the years. So I felt like it was the best decision to do. And the Apple TVs are just easy to use for my parents. So I know I could have used Plex. I could have used a jailbroken Roku or Fire Stick or whatever, but I felt happier with trying to do it my own and a Hackintosh seemed to be best for me. Um, I built this two years ago. So a lot of the parts are outdated um, and they could definitely be better. And I know I used some of the wrong parts, but it works. I've been using it for two years now and I've had little to no problems at all. Um, I manage it by remoting in with my laptop or I use VNC on my phone um, so I don't have to physically go to it. It makes it convenient to have to do updates or download a movie or whatever as necessary. The reason why it has a graphics card is so I can do uh, Fusion 360, I can design with it, whatever. It's the all around and anything I want to do with this device, I can do it with this custom Hackintosh. So let's go take a look, because it's at my shop. I'm here in my shop. Um, this is my Hackintosh server. Most of these are four terabyte drives with the exception of a few of them being two terabytes. And also I just can't remember at this point since I haven't added a drive in a while. Um, you can see right here all the different hard drives I have. Um, this thing's also being a time machine backup um, for my laptop and any other um, Apple products I may have around the house. Um, so it has the capacity for just time machine backups. So the whole purpose of this video for me was to pull it out, to clean it, and to show you guys that this exists. So I'm going to power it down and pull it out. Completely off. I'm going to pull the power um, and any other cables connected and I have a table over there I'm going to put it on and show you guys what's made up and clean it. Alright, tops off. Um, here are the drives. There's a 4 terabyte. Four terabyte. Yeah, four terabyte. I'll make sure I know what order to come back in. Four terabyte again. Um, most of these hard drives were out of external enclosures um, that I just shucked and put in here. I built this on a budget, so I couldn't really afford uh, the reds of the 4 terabytes. So I was just thankful to get blues and greens. And uh, I know I should have a dust filter on this, but I kind of lost that. Here's another 4 terabyte. Four terabyte. I labeled the day of birth in this one. There's a two terabyte. And then here's a four terabyte. Um, 
this is a Rosewell case um, that I got for $250 when it came out. It may be cheaper now, but I'll put the links to everything in the description. I know most of these are gaming parts, but this is the only thing that was compatible whenever I built this machine. Um, you can see there's a GTX 960 graphics card, gaming motherboard, and many other components. Um, I tried my best to do cable management, but there's just no other way. Um, right here is a SATA controller. I'll pull it out later to show you, but I was very surprised that that was compatible with Mac OS. Um, but it works great. On the side, I have the Mac OS. It's running off a 500 gig SSD. And then I have a 500 gig uh, standard hard drive for Windows, if I ever wanna boot off Windows. Um, I'm gonna clean it up and then show you afterwards of it looking pretty. I believe I got this RAID controller for a hundred bucks on Amazon. I just realized I put that in the wrong spot when I built this. At least I'm taking care of it now. Alright, so I have, I put it all back together, I turned it on, and boots. So that's good. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will try my best to answer them. I hope you found this informative and if you can, please like and subscribe and it shows me that you want more of this content. Thank you.